Hey guys, it's Kat from Raven's Hollow. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial today on how to do half Persian 3-in-1. Um, it's one of those patterns that's kind of finicky to start, um, but once you've got it going, it's really super quick to make. Um, it took me quite a while to figure out how to start this pattern on its own. A lot of the tutorials out there just didn't really click for me. Um, when I finally had my aha moment, it was one of those, wow, this pattern's really that easy? And it took me this long to figure out, so I figured I'd try to help you guys out and show you how I start mine. Um, I went ahead and pre-closed some rings that are going to be orange. And I pre-opened some other rings that are going to be black stainless steel. Let's get those in the picture here. Get my camera to focus. Alright. Switch it over here. Alright. What you're going to do is you're going to take one of your pre-opened rings and put two of your pre-closed rings on it. And close it. Now this is the important part. You're gonna take your pre-closed rings, this ring here on the right, you need to flip over, like rotate it on itself, and tuck it so that it's underneath the other one and it creates kind of a cat's eye. And what I do is I grab the two orange rings, don't worry about the fact that the black ring kind of flops around at the moment, it's not a big deal. And then take another open ring, coming up from the bottom, you're gonna pass it through the cat's eye and pass it in front of the other black ring. Don't go through the black ring, just let it rest in front of it, like so. Get the camera to focus on my hands and not the rings behind me. And then add another closed ring before you close this off. Now at this point the pattern's not stable, so to make it easier to keep everything together, I set the pattern on the table before I close it. This kind of helps keep the rings where they belong. And then to pick it back up, you're going to grab the two orange rings like you did before. Now. Because I added the orange ring after the first one, I have to tuck it in behind the first ones. So I just kind of roll this up and behind it. Um, this works for most ARs that work with the half Persian 3-in-1. There are some that are a little too tight to do that, at which case you would just add it behind the other one. Now, in theory, the pattern is stable at this point, but I find that it's much easier if you add another row. So holding onto the orange, I pass another pre-opened ring up through the cat's eye and in front of the black and then add my pre-closed ring making sure I tuck it in behind the other and close the ring. Now you are working from the underside of the pattern so when you're holding it in your hand this is basically belly up um, the speed weaving technique is to add your pre-closed ring to your ring first and then pass it up through the cat's eye. And then it's just a game of Rinse and repeat up through the cat's eye and close it. And now you have a running tail of half Persian three in one. When you're done, you just flip it over. Now you're always going to have the leading tail. To finish the piece, all you have to do is add one extra open ring. So at the end of your piece, up, over, this time since we're at the end, you don't add another closed ring. And there you go, half Persian 3-in-1.